you're talking winter in Australia, there's rarely only one place you should go to find the ultimate test for solar, and that's our southernmost capital, Hobart. We're joined now by Mark Richardson from Forefront Services. Mark, thanks for joining us, mate. Thank you, sir. Now, Hobart probably has the worst winters in Australia, so how do you design a solar system for maximum benefit in winter down there? Well, it depends what you mean by worst winter. I think our winter is absolutely glorious. We have some nice crisp days, but you're right, that does make for lower solar gain. The best way that we found is to increase the overall size of the system, oversize the inverter, and then that gives you your maximum potential solar gain during the winter months. So going big, essentially. Yeah. So what are the, uh, what are the biggest winter loads down there in Hobart? Biggest winter loads would be heating, and hot water for sure. What's the best way to heat your home and heat your hot water if you've got a you know, nice big solar system? The most common ways for Tasmanians to heat their homes is electric. The most efficient way to do it is with a reverse cycle air conditioner or what we call down here a heat pump. They come in obviously the split system type or also the ducted type. That's the most efficient way. As far as heat, hot water goes, the most common type is the electric element type system, obviously the least efficient type of electric you can get. What we do is we tend to tie the solar systems in with upgrading of heating systems, upgrading of hot water systems to the more efficient heat pump hot water systems as well. So when you're doing a solar install in Hobart, it's normal is it to also upgrade the efficiency aspects of the home? Look, we've got the capability to be able to do a range of things. So we can go into a home and do a bit of an energy audit, look at the lighting, look at the heating, look at the hot water scenario and provide an overall solution to get the maximum benefit out of a solar system. Now in terms of uh, panel brands, um, different types of panels, are there any types of panels that work better in the low light winter conditions or is it much of a muchness? No, look, the premium panels definitely work better earlier in the day. So you've got that lower light level earlier in the day, the premium panels uh, are giving a more efficient output at that point in the day. That said, some of the more common panels, they perform quite well. And it's for us, when we talk to our clients, it's about getting the mix of performance and cost and return on investment, correct. So what do you say to people that say, I'm not putting solar on in Tasmania because the winters are too long and too cold and it's just not worth it? The simple math says that it is worth it. The return on investment may be a bit longer than it is on the mainland, but because of our heavy consumption here in Tasmania, and that is due mainly to the fact that we don't have much reticulated gas, for example. So most of our heating, most of our cooking, most of our hot water is running through electricity. So it's pretty hard to, um, to deny that the return on investment is there and it's, it's not a bad one. Well, that's really great to hear, Mark, because if you can make solar work in Hobart, you can make it work anywhere in Australia, I reckon. Yeah, indeed. Great. Thanks a lot, Mark. It's great to speak to you, mate. And enjoy your glorious winter Hobart day. <laughs> Will do. Thank you. <laughs>